So I'm very frequently twisting the girl's words or making sexual implications. And when I do so, I use the smirk face, okay, and or the wink face. What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about using emojis. Okay, this can be done over text message or it can be done over online game message such as on Tinder and Bumble. Okay, before we get into that, please like and subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell to be notified of my new videos every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, Sunday to Thursday. So. I see questions all the time in the forums and my clients are always asking me, should I use emojis or does that mean I'm gay? Let's think about that question. Hmm. You can use emojis and still be straight. So as a matter of fact, when you are in person, okay, when you're interacting like in a bar or nightclub or on the street, you are conveying a bunch of communication through nonverbal signals, okay? Your body language, your facial expressions, emojis are conveying emotions, okay? They're conveying facial expressions. It's livening up the conversation so that it's not flat, okay? Emotionally flat. So let's go over some various emojis and what are my favorite ones and how do I use them, okay? So let's see. I would say my favorite two are, and I will put these up on the screen, are the sexual smirk face, okay, which is basically implying sex, okay, so I talk about how you want to sexualize the interaction, okay, you want to set a sexual frame, you do this by flirting and making sexual innuendos, those can be in person, those can be verbal, okay, and in text message, they can be through text making an innuendo, but a lot of times it's lost in the message if it's just plain text, okay? That's where the smirking sex face comes from. So I'm very frequently twisting the girl's words or making sexual implications. And when I do so, I use the smirk face, okay? And or the wink face, okay? If it's like pretty hardcore about sex, then I'll make then I'll use the smirk face. If it's like kind of a suggestion, but a lighter, like not as strong of a sexual connotation and it's more just flirting, okay? Or if the girl is like very traditional or very proper, you don't really wanna go hardcore with like the, the big smirk face, um, that's when I use the wink, okay? Now, um, when the girl like, gives some kind of bullshit to me, okay? I will use either the eye roll or I will use like the, it's it's kind of like the equivalent of like the non-compliance face that I give in person. So if you're, you're moving along in the interaction and you're like, hey, come over here with me or hey, I want to meet you and, and the chick's like giving you shit, right? A lot of times I'll be like, like that, okay? And I'll put the emoji up on the screen, on one of these sides. That shows that one, you can kind of, show that and combine that with certain, with certain lines, okay? I have in my Leads Machine product, which is in the link in the description, uh, where it goes over my texting. That's where I get into like all my exact texts that I send, okay? But this video is just about emojis. Um, let's see, what else? If the chick like compliments you or some shit like that, you can like play along and put like the embarrassed face. Okay, I'll put that up here the little embarrassed emoji with the red cheeks, okay? Or the red cheeks with like the kiss is like a more flirty version. Um, if you're ever like saying like, oh, I'm at the gym or like just had a really good workout or some shit like that, I'll use the, what's it called? The fucking guy basically making a, showing off his muscles, okay? That little arm emoji. Um, if the chick accuses you of like, um, 
being like, oh, you're a player, or oh, you're just interested in sex, or oh, you probably get a lot of girls, like any kind of shit where she's like framing you out, which is going to happen when you're being like very sexually suggestive, which you should be doing. You're going to use the angel face. Okay. And I'll get, I'll get into softeners a little bit later, but softeners, like basically with the angel one, for instance, you could be like, um, yeah, like, let's like, like we're going to get like pretty crazy later. Um, like with, say, say you said we're going to get pretty crazy later with like the devil face, right? Like the devil emoji. That's like, I use that one sexual as well. At least I use sexual. Um, and then she's like, oh, I don't know how we'll see. I'm a good girl, right? Then I might be like, yeah, I'm a good boy too with the angel face. Okay. So the angel face is always like a way to like back off, like, Oh, like I'm innocent, but it's, it's done in a funny way. So I'll add in, the, I'll add in the wink with the angel face. So it's like, yeah, I'm innocent. Just kidding with the wink. Um, the tongue, either like the wink, winky tongue face, or like just a regular tongue, open tongue. Um, I'll use that just to like spice up with some flirting. Like I'll interchange that with like the wink face. Um, if I'm demonstrating some kind of value, okay, again, it's not going to be done in a bragging way, but if, if like something awesome happened, like, oh, just fucking landed this big deal at work, whatever, I'll usually put the sunglasses face after that, right? And again, you're not like, just bought a new Lamborghini, sunglasses face, okay, because that would look what they call try hard, <laughs> and the girl wouldn't be that into it. If the girl... <laughs> I'm just looking at the various emojis here and thinking of situations. If the girl like cancels on you or, or, or some shit like that, um, or whatever, if you want to just like joke about being sad, you can put like the crying face. Um, if she, if she gives me like, <laughs> if she gives me like bad news from her, like say she's like, Oh, my mother like is in the hospital or, um, Oh, my dog is sick or any shit like that. You can show empathy and compassion by showing like the uncertain face or like one of the sad faces with the like water drop sweat. <laughs> okay. If it's a girl. Okay. Here's one that I do right after I fucked a chick, like whether it's from a club pole where I took her home and banged her that night or after a date, which is much more common. Most of my closes are coming from dates. So it's much easier when you're stacking multiple dates in a day or stacking dates all throughout the week. Right after I bang her for the first time, after she leaves, almost immediately, usually within five minutes, I text, mm, like MMM, that was, and then I put three of the fire icon, three of the fire emoji, okay? Um, let's see. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking through with the rest of these. Okay. Like the thinking one, like <laughs> you can use that in combination with flirting. Like you can be like, Oh, like, la like yesterday was really fucking good, but I, I think we could get you to orgasm even more and break another record. Like smirk face, smirk face, um, thinking face. <laughs> or like if you're like oh i bet you masturbate all the time thinking face wink face so a lot of times you can you can combine like just think of it in, in these terms like you can combine the sexual smirk and the wink okay those are like my favorite two you can throw those on with with anything so a lot of times i'll send like three or four different emojis at the end of a sentence so like, let me think of an example. Um, oh, like the whisk, like the, the secret emoji. I don't even see that in the list here. I'm like looking at a, a picture of all this shit. Um, the secret one, like say, like this one chick, she found out like about like what I do for a living or whatever. And she's like, oh, you must be really good in bed. And then I was like, don't, I was like, haha, don't tell anyone with like the secret, like the lips 
over the thing or like like basically it's another way of like acting confident and cool when a chick like opens the door for you to like own some kind of acknowledgement of some success of yours she's like oh i bet you get a lot of girls i bet you're gonna bed whatever put the little like thing it's a sec like it's a secret with the little emoji with the finger over the mouth winky tongue face um sex smir smirk emoji devil face so like in that one it's like oh it's a secret but that's just a joke obviously it's it's not um the sexual smirk makes it about sex and fucking the winky tongue face makes it a little more fun and then like the devil adds like some like bravado to the whole thing so this is like kind of like an art um i'll do a, a second video where i go into some examples i'll just look through some text threads and i'll give you some examples of how i'm using these in action um let's say a chick is like or let's say you oversleep a date or something um you oversleep a date or you have to cancel on a chick or she's like kind of pissed off for some reason that's what i was dealing with last night a fucking chick saw me on tinder and she's like oh i thought you deleted that because she had seen me well first of all she found like some chick's hair in my apartment and then after we got over that then she saw i was like getting tinder notifications i'm like oh look i'm deleting it deleted it in front of her and then i reinstalled it and then her friend saw me i don't know it's like all this bullshit but like if a chick if you have to cancel or whatever like you're you're a little bit like sheepish about something you can use the um embarrassed with like the wide eyes like who <laughs> um if the chick is like oh like if she's telling you some kind of accomplishment like oh or just something like just naturally shocking like she's like oh i worked from 7 a.m to like 9 p.m tonight i'll put like the open mouth face right um and then let's see one other one here worth mentioning if it's like a fuck buddy or something or, or whatever it's okay to start sending the kiss face not a lot don't overdo it and if it's a chick you're like you haven't met up with you don't really want to do the kiss face yet um but with fuck buddies and stuff if she's like had a good time you'd be like me too kiss face which is just like a sweet little thing not in like a gay way um, if you're like having a great day today, you can use like the, the big, happy, smiley face. Um, but one other one worth, worth touching on, on, I'll end the video, um, is like, let's say she like patronizes you. Let's say you're like, why are you ignoring like me trying to make plans? Like it's, it's fucking annoying or it's fucking rude. Oh, like I've been really busy or whatever. Oh, like, you know, just some, some like blow off excuse. And again, don't like overdo this. Don't try to be like calling her out unless it's deserved uh, or it's weak, or it's like a pattern, like a habit, habitual thing she's doing. But you can put like the, it almost looks like, <laughs> I won't say it, but just like the flat expression face. Okay. And I'll put it up on the screen. That's kind of like, really? Okay. Again, it's, that's, that one's showing disapproval. Just like the eye roll or the tilting up like the brow being like really okay so i hope that was very helpful i mean this is kind of a crash course on emojis um last minute ones like if you had some big deal at work or whatever you could put like the the money emoji but again don't make it bragging if you're really tired you can use the fucking sleeping with z's emoji um and like the one where it's like gritting its teeth like if you can do that one, if she like calls you off or something like I use the gritted teeth and like the open mouth shock face. If she's like, Hey, I didn't like that. You did such and such. And I'll put like the gritted teeth and then I'll be like, blah, blah, blah. I'll make it up to you. Kiss face, you know? Okay. So that's pretty much crash course. Look for a follow on video this week where I go into text examples of emojis. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to get David Swift on another podcast, David Swift from Playing With Fire, where we talk about sexualization in text messages. Okay, this week's going to be all back about seduction and pickup again, since no one likes me talking about, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not as well received, like the video stats for the martial arts video and success and happiness and all these things that are, that are actually really important for your life. People are like, no, show me dirty pickup hacks. It's like, okay, so we're back to the 
seduction stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not already. And, oh, for those of you in Europe, or even if you're not in Europe, Sopot Summit, www.sopotsummit.com. Uh, there are still tickets left for that. It is in the end of August, and there's going to be all the top underground speakers in the world, including myself, in Warsaw, Poland. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, guys. Thank you.